In this demonstration, we'll have a look at how we can provision users, groups, and mailboxes in Microsoft Office 365. I've come to my portal.office.com. I've logged in as my admin user. I'm going to come down to users, and within users, we'll come to active users. And what we're going to do at this point here is we're going to add a user. So we select add a user. Now what we have to do is we have to fill out some information relating to the user. So we're going to go first name Beth, last name Burke, then Beth Burke. Username will be Beth at my uh, autumn test 1234-4321.onmicrosoft.com. I'm happy with the auto-generate password. I will require this user to change password when they first sign in and I will send the password as well in an email on completion. I will email the new password to the uh, data admin user and we'll select our next button. So at this point here, all we're going to do is we're just going to sign one of the free licenses that I get with my free trial and we'll select next. In the case of optional settings, I'm not going to really change anything to do with Beth. She's not going to be an admin user. So we'll select next and then we'll finish adding. At this point here, we've now added our user. So we can close this down. Uh, uh, then at this point here, I'm not going to bother with any feedback, but now what we can see is we've got Beth. Now what I'll do is I'll just create two additional users before we create a group. So we've also got a net and we've got Faye. So the next thing we'll do at this point here is we'll just provision some groups. So we'll come down to groups. And within our groups, we'll come to groups. And then to add a group, we click on add a group. And in the case of add a group, at this point here, we'll go for a Office 365 recommended group. Select next. Then what we need to do is we need to give this group a name. So we'll just call it IT. Description at this point here. IT and then select next in the case of our sign owners we're not going to bother or we will what we'll do at this point here is we'll just add in the datum admin and select next then in the case of the settings we just need to put in a group email address so we'll go for IT and then what we'll do is we'll make it public we'll create a team for this group so happy with all of that I will select next. Now what we'll do is we'll create the group. And we've now created our IT group. And then we'll just select our close button. So we now have our IT group. So if we just come to our IT group. So see the basic information, see the email address. Let's just go to members. And then what we'll do in the case of members is we'll click on the view all and manage members. Then what we'll do is we'll just add some members in here. And what we'll do is we'll just search through and we'll just add in Beth. And we'll also add in Annette. And we'll add in Faye. Now we'll click our save button. And what we've now done, we've now added the members to the group. And that's the end of this demonstration of managing users and groups in Office 365. Thank you.